It's true. We're useless without our vaginas. How will you rape us? How will we birth daughters and sons? I understand we should laugh. It would be better if we did, Mr. Duterte. In India, our leaders say eating chow mein excites the hormones, which provokes rape. And if you can't prevent it, may as well enjoy it. Rape. In one of your 120 languages, the word for vagina is bisong, which sounds like a headlong bird, not chow mein, which good mothers don't feed their daughters for fear, for fear of provoking. You know, Mr. Duterte, may I call you Rodrigo? We should laugh. O'Keefe did when they said she painted bulvas, laughed. Her flowers didn't wear jeans or stay out late. Rape doesn't happen to respected ladies. Dirty Duterte, Baba Akko, what do you have against vaginas? What about Sara and Veronica, your daughters and their drama queen vaginas? What about Chow Mein? Personally, I'm against MSG, FGM and Chow Mein. In Hindi, one of India's 780 languages, I laugh not to be competitive, but we win. The word for daughter is Beti. Do you know how many lost daughters, raped, unborn, disappeared? One longs for a Venus flytrap vagina or yoni, the most delectable word for cunt. Duterte, Harry, P. Rod, P. Diggy, Digong, Rodi, Duterte is Viagra, your excellency's version of chow mein. Who dares call you impotent? You who want vagina shot at? You who smooches factory workers, you who laughs and says, as long as there are beautiful girls, there will be rape. There is always a beautiful Betty daughter. Our leaders warn us to keep our daughters at home like cars, so they won't get scratched, Mr. Duterte. They tell us to call our rapist brother while they rape us and afterwards, everyone can go out for chow mein because nobody agrees to do it on the first try, laugh. Mr. President, we have teeth in our rebel vaginas and they don't need chow mein. Our vaginas have learned to shoot. They laugh and talk back, rapacious beasts. Our daughters feed them poems, Mr. Duterte.